Again, these need to be tasted, uh, tested even. Hey guys, welcome to another Wahab Original video. My name is Wahab and today we are going to be looking at my eBay and Facebook Marketplace pickups from this past week. I didn't get to go to the car boot, had a late night on Saturday night, couldn't get up in time. So, instead of doing that, I carried on doing my research on Facebook Marketplace, picked up a couple of deals on there and found one deal on eBay. Now, I bet you're thinking, spending money on eBay, normally the price is a little bit high to try and buy a bundle off eBay and then resell that. So, yeah, you're probably right. It is a little bit high, but there are some things that are just worth getting. And in this one, I think with this particular deal I picked up on eBay, probably not a ton of profit in it but there's some really cool items in there and some that i might keep for myself which is a bad thing but i should be able to recover my money anyway so let's get straight into that with the ebay bundle it was a ps1 bundle on ebay i paid 50 odd quid including the shipping and this is what i got so first up, we got a PS1, original PS1. It's in pretty good nick. It's clean, cleaner than some of the ones I've seen before. But yeah, everything looks to be fine. I haven't tested anything yet, but with eBay, you get a certain amount of security that if it doesn't work, I'll be able to send it back. So I will end up testing it before I list it, but it looks like it's in great condition. So we got the PS1 and with it we got two controllers, these are the old school controllers, so no analog stick but that's fine, they'll work for 90% of the games that came out on PS1, didn't use analog sticks anyway. So we got that and then we got the normal cable, so a component wire and the power cable, so we've got that and with it we got 15 games. now. PS1 games do vary in price, some are really valuable, some are not. But there were a couple in here that I really wanted, so we picked them up. So here's some of the games that we got. We got V Rally, we got Formula One, probably not worth a rock. V Rally might be worth up to a fiver. Formula One's worth a quid or so. We got Driver 2, one of the games that I really used to play as a kid quite a bit. And this one might be added into my own collection, which is kind of a problem of me buying things that I love. I end up taking out the profitable stuff and this is probably worth a bit, but I think that's going to end up in my own collection. We've got the Italian job, decent game, probably worth a few quid. Gran Turismo, again, PlayStation original, probably worth a few quid there as well. We've got Roll Cage, I did used to play this game, it's a pretty decent game. That'll be worth a quid or two. We got Touring Car Championship. Again, this is a full racing bundle. So uh, all, all the games, car games, some of them are worth a bit. Some of them aren't worth that much. So I'm probably going to bundle when I resell this PS1 because I've already got my own. So I'll probably resell the PS1, bundle a couple of games with it and sell that off for 30, 40 quid. And then try and sell some of the more valuable games on their own. We got Formula and another Formula One game, and then we got Destruction Derby Two. I think that's worth a little bit of money, so that's cool. We got Lego Racers. That'll be worth a bit of money as well. So that that those are the ones where I'm gonna make up the fifty quid that I spent. We got Touring Car Championship Two. We got another Formula One game, two Formula One Two Thousand. This is what I bought this bundle for. Grand Theft Auto, the original one on PS1. That's cool. That's definitely going into my own collection. But that's worth about 15 quid on its own. So, yeah, if I sold it, make some good money. We got Formula 1.99. And then finally, we got Micro Machines V3. That'll be worth a few quid as well. So, 
that was 15 games in total i paid 50 quid the console on its own is worth about 20 30 quid with the couple of controllers uh, and especially if it's working and everything i'll probably chuck in a few games with it so maybe get 35 to 40 pound for the console with like five games let's say and then there's another five games like the lego races and stuff which should be worth a few quid each i haven't done my full research on them as of yet but i would assume they're worth between three and five pound each and if i can pile them up together then that will be another 15 20 pound worth of sales so i'll get my 50 quid back but then i'll also get to add these two to my collection so i'm quite happy with that so that was everything on ebay let's move on to facebook marketplace i'm just gonna chop this box out of my way so the first deal i picked up on facebook marketplace was for some wii games now people are becoming quite clever on facebook they, they're trying to get the full value 90% of the time so you really got to look hard to try and find a good deal on Facebook marketplace and even then then there's that little bit of a risk that something doesn't work and it's a lot harder to go back to people and be like oh this doesn't work you know I want a refund we don't have that sort of seller protection there that you do on eBay so it is a bit of a risk buying stuff off Facebook marketplace but sometimes the risk is worth it so let's start off with the games bundle first we picked up eight Wii games for eight pound, which is a pretty good deal. You don't barely ever find Wii games for a pound a pop. Now, initially, when I was going to buy these, I was only going to buy two of them and spend two pound. But I decided to make life easier for the seller. I'll just buy the whole lot, and if anything, I can bundle them in with any Wiis that I sell. So we got U Draw for the Wii, U Draw Studio. We got Cooking Mama World, Babysitting Mama. Us in really good condition. Again, these need to be tasted, uh, tested even. We got Mario Kart for the Wii. Now this game on its own is worth about 10 pounds. So this game pays for the whole lot, providing that it works. But I've also got some steering wheels lying around. So I'm gonna bundle this up with the steering wheel and sell it for 15 instead. So we can do that. We've got It's My Birthday. Not sure what that's worth, but probably bundle it with a Wii. We've got Super Monkey Ball. Uh, that's supposed to be decent. I think that's worth about a fiver. Got Disney's Tangled. We have Just Dance 3. That's worth about a fiver. And then, this was the... So I was going to buy Mario Kart and Wii Play. I thought these two other games that are the ones that are going to be worth something. Uh, Wii Play normally worth about five to ten quid so i thought for picking up for a quid is decent but it turns out in the box it was actually wii sports and that works out even better for me because wii sports worth about 10 15 quid if you sell it at the right time so that those two games mario kart and wii sports will double my money the rest is just gravy so we can just sell that either bundle them in with some of the consoles that i'm selling or um sell them individually depending on what's suitable at the time all of these games still do need to be tested but most of them are in pretty decent condition so i'm pretty certain that they will work if not i'll have to go get them cleaned and uh, see if that does the job for us so that was second bundle that was eight pound from facebook marketplace and then there was one more so I picked up another Wii bundle off Facebook Marketplace, but this one was more expensive. This was a 50 quid bundle uh, off the Facebook Marketplace, but I think this might be my best deal yet. So let's find out. First up, we've got a pile of games in this bundle, so I'm just gonna pull them out first. All right, so we got some standard games. We got Dancing on Ice, basically worth nothing so that'll get bundled in just dance 2 just dance 1 and then we've got a couple of really good ones so we've got hasbro's family game night 
Uh, that's worth up to a tenner. We got Hasbro's Family Game Night 2. That's also worth up to a tenner. So they're, they're pretty decent, decent games. We got Mario Galaxy 2. That's worth 15 quid on its own on a good day. And then we got another copy of Mario Kart Wii. And as I mentioned with that previous copy, this will go for £15 with a steering wheel. And the good thing is, in this bundle, we got a steering wheel. So I'll just bundle them together and sell it. Gone. Uh, the next thing we got worth mentioning is we got one of these wheels. So th this is an unofficial Wii wheel. And we also got, if I can get this back on, an unofficial Wii Remote. Again, I do need to test this. But once this is tested, I'll probably sell them together uh, as a bundle. Uh, so it'll be a Wii Remote with a, an unofficial Wii Remote with an unofficial Wii controller. I mean, Steering wheel even. Does that fit in? Huh. I'm putting it in the wrong way. That's what it is. There we go. Got that clipped in. And then that goes that way around. And there we go. We got Wii, Wii remote with a Wii third party steering wheel. So we'll sell that as a bundle. Probably go for seven, eight pounds, something like that providing it all works so that's another thing and then down to the final bits of this bundle so this bundle has not one but two Wii consoles and providing these both work the console with the original controllers will go for 30 quid a pop I've got two power bricks in here, I've got two sensor bars in here, but I've only got the one component cable. So I've ordered one in, that's three quid that I've spent ordering a second component cable in to connect this to a TV. But if these two go for 30 quid each on their own with their controllers, and then we've got, so that's money back. We've got the steering wheel with Mario Kart Wii, that's another 15 quid. We've got this steering wheel with this controller, that's another seven quid. So where we are now, we're on 75, call it 82. And then we still got the pile of games to sell. Now I'll probably bundle in the Just Dance and the Dancing with the Stars in with the two consoles. So they'll be worth pretty much nothing. But if we can get, let's say five, six, seven quid, for each of these and 10 quid for that that puts us at another 25 right here plus the 83 odd that we already counted for puts us to 107 quid it's providing i get what i'm asking for for all of these but 107 quid out of 50 quid you're doubling your money it's a good deal and that's about everything from this week's pickups so we got the eBay bundle, we got the Wii games bundle, and then we got the Wii consoles bundle. Let me know what you think was the best buy out of all of this and which product would you be wanting to get your hands on? Are you a massive fan of PS original PS1 games like I am? Or would you say the Wii bundles with the Mario Galaxy 2 is the best one? And let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll be back with another video when I do actually go to a car booth this weekend, weather permitting, hopefully we'll get to go and I'll see if I can pick up any good deals there. And there'll definitely be a, a video out about that. And um, let me know if you'd be interested to hear about when these items sell on eBay and how much they actually go for. Because if you're interested in that, then I may start making some sort of sales sort of videos uh, that I see other people making. So, yeah. Let me know all those things down in the comments below leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if there's any other tips and tricks you want to know about ebay this we've been focusing a lot on sourcing but if you wanted to see packing videos or 
sales videos as I mentioned then again just drop a comment below that really helped me out thank you guys once again very much for watching take care goodbye